So some of you might remember a couple months ago, we had the media doing their usual runs, their fear mongering against Russia, saying that Russia was preparing to use biological or chemical weapons in their war in Ukraine. And, you know, possibly on the West, who knows, right? Uh, you can see this article here out of uh, Foreign Policy, preparing for the unthinkable in Ukraine. And of course, this was at the time when a lot of people were also talking about the biolabs in Ukraine that Russia ended up, because of their invasion, uh, now presumably controlling at least some of them. Uh, and a lot of these biolabs in Ukraine were funded by U.S. dollars and as associated with U.S. quasi-governmental groups and Western-affiliated NGOs and all of this. And, and of course, before that, there were actually Soviet labs. And yes, it it's very shady, the whole situation there. And now the monkeypox is being tested over there in Europe. And uh, some of the officials are leaking this and saying that this looks like a lab strain. So I'm going to read out of this bombshell report. This is out of the Miami Standard, but this relates to actually a source that's reporting to uh, Dr. Benjamin Braddock. This is somebody I follow on Twitter. Really, really uh, well-researched guy, has a substack and all of that, and, and apparently he has a source at the uh, European CDC telling him this, and it makes a lot of sense, uh, especially if you're um, looking at the paper from NTI that actually predicted this they wrote this back in 2021 okay uh you know a, a few months back uh, really it was like march 2021 i did a whole video on it you know yesterday whatever um they actually did like a drill and exercise a simulation uh, about a monkeypox bioterrorism attack and I, i'm going off on a tangent here but i just gotta i just gotta say this now i forgot to say this in my video i posted yesterday they actually predicted in one of their scenarios for the monkeypox bio attack that it would happen and start you can see here that it would start in the middle of may 2022 okay and they put out their report here this kissinger affiliated globalist group put out their report for this Back in March 2021, April 2021, yeah, these guys are just great at predicting things on the T. And then the media having their rounds with Russia and biological weapons. And now this, I'm looking at it and I'm like, whoa, this is getting kind of weird. So let's read this out of the Miami Standard. Monkeypox appears to be a lab strain with unknown characteristics, says European CDC source. The monkeypox outbreak currently springing up in countries around the world appears to originate from a lab strain, a source at the European, European Centers for Disease Control reported, reportedly revealed. Independent investigator Dr. Benjamin Braddock claimed on Twitter that an unnamed source at the ECDC told him that preliminary analysis of the monkeypox found... Uh, that the virus came from a lab and may be related to the U.S.'s biological research in Ukraine. Whoa. <laughs> and of course, who's going to be blamed for this? We all know Russia probably. Um, and then uh, well, Russia will try to blame the U.S. for it at the same time. It's the globalist, guys. If anybody, it's the globalist. But let's keep let's keep reading. It's the grabblers. I, I okay. I'm not going to go on a tangent. Let's just keep reading. Okay. Um, ECDC source tells me that the preliminary analysis of monkeypox indicates that there is a third lab strain with unknown characteristics, in that there is a chatter about this being somehow related to Moscow's charges against U.S. biological activities in Ukraine. Braddock tweeted on Saturday, and he went on to say this. I'll just go to his Twitter here. EC, uh, ECDC source tells me that the preliminary analysis of monkeypox indicates that it is a third lab strain with unknown characteristics, like we just said. Uh, a Russia-Chinese joint task force has also been created with establishing where it uh, originated, that's the monkeypox, where it is detectable in research conducted by the U.S. in Ukraine, Georgia, whether there is a link between biological research conducted by the U.S. on smallpox in Ukraine, etc. Main ECDC focus right now is on buying up as much of uh, the BN. The BN is, um, what do you call it? Bavarian Nordic. That's the company making 
the smallpox, monkeypox vaccine, that the U.S. just uh, uh, executed their option on a purchase order for up to 13 million of these monkeypox, smallpox vaccines from Bavarian Nordic, okay? And I talked about that uh, two days ago in my previous video on this. Why are they buying all these vaccines? You know, it really begs the question. Like, this is money. They're spending money on the smallpox, uh, monkeypox vaccine. Smallpox has been eradicated since 1980. So there's just so much going on right now. If you look at the chatter, chatter and the talk and the patterns of the main of the mainstream media and our officials... And with the drills they ran last year, literally predicting a monkeypox biolab outbreak in May 2022, go figure. Thanks, Henry Kissinger affiliated NTI group. If you look at all this, it looks like this is this is this is going to be like the new thing we're going to have to deal with. They're going to try to do so much out of this. They're going to use the monkeypox bio situation. Right, whatever this is, they're going to use it to consolidate power, take away your freedoms, rob countries of their sovereignty, uh, and and siphon your money to the WHO and all of these globalist groups, and God knows what else. Right, will pop out of this. What they'll try to use this as a pretext for. Right, and it's never good. These people are power hungry. Uh, main ECDC focus right now is buying up as much of BN's vaccine as possible. They're buying it up before they know whether or not it is even effective against the strain of monkeypox. I wouldn't be surprised if they skip testing its efficacy altogether. Apparently in the UK, it was approved to use for monkeypox because monkeypox and smallpox is similar enough that, uh, you know, it's, uh, I guess, theoretical. I mean, I don't really know that much about the pox. All these poxes is horse pox, monkeypox, chicken pox, smallpox. I mean, all these, but apparently at least monkeypox and smallpox are kind of like similar enough that maybe a vaccine could be used for both. I I don't know. I mean, what do I know, right? I'm just looking at what they're saying here. Um, last fall, uh, Tonics Pharmaceuticals announced a vaccine that used live horse, horse pox viral vector platform designed to express the SARS COVID-2 spike protein. So then this is Benjamin Braddock going on about, in my opinion, sort of a separate issue, unless you're going to say that this somehow actually originated from these test trials, but I don't even think they're testing this thing on humans yet, but why would they create a smallpox or I'm sorry, a horsepox viral vector to vaccinate against COVID. That that's kind of crazy. Anyways, continuing to read here out of the Miami Standard, um, a Russia Chinese task force uh, launched I- into uh, the investigation into this situation. That's worth iterating there. Um, in the face of rising monkeypox cases in the U.S., Europe. Uh, etc. The ECDC uh, source reportedly claims the agency is intent on purchasing smallpox vaccines from biotech company Bavarian Nordic. Um, Shortly after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the World Health Organization warned Ukrainian authorities to destroy any high threat pathogens being researched in biolabs to prevent any potential spills, quote unquote, into the public. So that's this article right here. WHO uh, told Ukraine to destroy pathogens in public health labs to avoid spills. So this is, by the way, right at the same time where they were uh, sort of trying to debunk people like me talking about the bio labs in Ukraine, you know, um, and, and the WHO simultaneously turning around and saying, hey, these bio labs exist and destroy all of the uh, pathogens, please. It's like, well, wait a minute. Okay, I thought they didn't exist. But you, 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 we have the WHO telling Ukraine to destroy them because Russia's invading? Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, Russia's preliminary commission, or parliamentary commission, on investigation of U.S. biological laboratories in Ukraine on Friday accused the U.S. of conducting illegal research on smallpox and Ebola at clandestine biolabs in Ukraine. Wow, isn't that something? And this is, uh, let me see here. 
Here we go. Key Russian lawmaker reveals illicit Ebola smallpox research at US-run Ukraine biolabs. According to the legislator, legislature, the information obtained indicates aggressive goal setting that underpins the foundation of these programs, de facto implemented by the US Department of Defense on Ukrainian soil. So this is um, uh, Arena Yurovaya. She kind of looks like Meryl Streep, doesn't she? Kind of weird. Anyways, um, so, you know, we have Russian officials and politicians um, revealing the uh, the fact that a lot of these biolabs in Ukraine that were U.S. run were actually conducting research on smallpox, Ebola, etc. And this was being warned of, uh, you know, in recent days. Uh, so, you know, that's worth noting. That's, that's you know, uh, quote, today we presented an analysis uh, of which pathogens the U.S. currently, uh, wait, I'm sorry. Today we presented an analysis of which pathogens the U.S. was particularly interested in in Ukraine. Arena Yurovo, uh, uh, co-chair of the committee, told reporters Friday. Aside from the pathogens that are territorially bound to Ukraine, uh, the laboratories researched viruses and pathogens that are endemically very far from Ukraine, such as Ebola and smallpox. Ooh, sounds like they're creating some sort of weapons. Um, you know, a lot of people were saying that at the time. Of course, it was all considered conspiracy theory. Prior to this uh, recent outbreak, monkeypox cases were only documented in Central and West African countries. Baffling experts over the monkeypox cases quickly popping up in North America and Europe in recent weeks. And now Australia and just across the whole Western world, of course. Um, curiously, the U.S. Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority recently purchased 13 million doses of Bavarian Nordic's Ginio smallpox monkeypox vaccine. Isn't that something? But the Health and Human Services released a statement claiming that the large order has nothing to do with the ongoing monkeypox outbreak. Of course it doesn't. The most recent barter purchase of smallpox, uh, the smallpox vaccine was part of a standard and ongoing preparedness effort and unrelated to specific events. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what's going on there. I wonder what's going on there. Now... As I talked about in the previous video, we have the nuclear threat initiative. Uh, you know, this is a UN group essentially um, affiliated with all these globalist types, World Economic Forum, UN, blah, blah, blah. Um, affiliated with Henry Kissinger, created by former Sen Senator Nunn. And it's uh, one of these high level globalist groups, you know. And they conducted a drill, an exercise in 2021, essentially months ago, you know. You know, um, and in their exercise, it, you can read the paper. It's not not that hard to find. Um, if you go to the top here, it's called literally. I'll read the title: uh, "Strengthening Global Systems to Prevent the uh, to to Prevent and Respond to High Consequence Biological Threats." Results from the 2021 tabletop exercise conducted in partnership with the Munich Security Conference. So it was NTI and the Munich Security Conference working in coll collaboration. And if you read, by the way, some of the um, people involved, you know, um, the participants. Yeah, I mean, it, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, um, you know, uh, Johnson & Johnson, uh, U.S. National Security Council, uh, you know, all the, the, all the typical types that you would literally expect. Um, same people inv uh, involved in event 201, same sort of crowd. And then if you look at one of their scenarios, they have a monkeypox bioterror attack starting in May, 2022. Now the first monkeypox outbreak uh, or, or case confirmed in a Western nation this year. I think it was in Europe. Or I don't know if it was Spain or UK. You know, one of those. It was on like I think it was May seventh, twenty twenty two. So, so I mean, this is what we're talking about, guys. How do they? How do they just know this? This is so bizarre. Like, like how do you just predict something like that? 
I don't know, but I will say this. About two or three days ago, I did predict in one of my videos that this would somehow be connected to Russia and blamed on Russia as a bioterror attack before I even knew about this drill, by the way, before I even knew about this exercise. It wasn't until the next day I found out about the exercise and then I went on to basically say that again in the next video. But, you know, it's pretty it's pretty easy to see what's going on here. All you got to do is look at what the globalist types are saying, what the media is saying, um, and what they've been preparing for. And just what their goals are, you know, it's Agenda 2030, they want the, the typical stuff we all know that what they want, to go a world government where you have no, you know, freedoms and it's a technocracy, you know, you, you can't eat meat anymore and you, you know, um, you live in a pod and you eat the bugs, right? You'll own nothing and be happy, literally, all admitted, not a conspiracy theory, just so you know. Anyways, um, and if you just look to at some of the chatter in the media, you know, from back in like March, like two months ago or so, uh, you you can see here, Ukraine is a chemical or biological attack, likely biological warfare, an emerging threat in the 21st century. Russia has a long history of lying about biological weapons. What makes biological weapons so dangerous? How Russia's false biolab theory was echoed by the US far right. UK says Russia could be planning chemical or biological attack. Hmm. Yeah, it was kind of funny because you saw the same thing um, right before 9-11. You know, you saw all that summer. And this is why Alex Jones was able to predict 9-11 in like July of 2001. You saw that whole summer, this same sort of chatter chatter in the media. You know, they were preparing like, oh, we have this guy. Um... Uh, Osama bin Laden, you know, working with the Taliban, affiliated with Al Qaeda, and uh, you know, he's talking about maybe flying some planes into some towers or something. So this is what I'm talking about. And like, look, I will say this: this source, this is from Benjamin Braddock. He, he's he's known to be a decent source on Twitter. I've followed him on Twitter for a long time. He has a lot of followers. He has a Substack. He seems to be pretty credible. And this is out of the Miami Standard as well. I mean. Before I really pull the trigger and believe this fully, uh, the fact that you know this is going to be an open bio weapon or bio lab um, narrative, uh, I want to hear it directly from the ECDC publicly. But this could be a real leak. It, to me, it looks, it seems legit, and it fits perfectly with everything I've been talking about the past few days, and everything we've been seeing in the media, and what we've seen in previous exercises from NTI and the Munich Security Council. So this is my theory. Uh, And this is, by the way, this would confirm like batting a thousand, resisting the reset, batting a thousand again, just calling it, calling it like days and days ago. Okay, so hey, what can you say? That you're subscribed to the most underrated channel on YouTube, the most underrated uh, like globalist analysis, New World Order expose on YouTube right here. Just so you know, or on BitShooter, Odyssey, and Rumble. Just so you know. Anyways, follow me, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Please share this video. Also, if you want to uh, support my work, I have a Patreon in the description box below and crypto links. You can support it. But most importantly, leave a comment and share and give it a good thumbs up. It's been pressed. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.